What is a function? The basis of this course in calculus starts with the idea of understanding what a function is and its related properties. So in this section, we'll consider what is a function and then look at the different ways we can understand how functions behave. So to begin with, we talk about what a function is. A function is a mathematical rule that defines a relationship between two related sets of numbers. When we talk about a rule, we're talking about things like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication. Sometimes we square a number or we take the square root, raising things to powers or exponents. There's all sorts of things we can do mathematically. So when we refer to a rule, that's something that we tell the function to do to describe this relationship between the numbers. There are four ways that we are going to look at functions in this course. And these four ways all give us different types of information. And sometimes we'll have information presented in one of the ways and sometimes others. So it's important that we can look at all these types of ways to understand what's happening. So first we start with a formula. A formula is an algebraic function that tells us the rules that we should be imparting between these sets of numbers. So here we have x squared minus 2x minus 3. So what this tells us is that if we were to take a number, we should first square it, which means multiplying it by itself. Then from that, we would subtract two times the number that we had plugged in, and then we would subtract three. So the algebraic formula tells us the rules using mathematical symbols and notation to describe this relationship. Another way that we can look at a function is through a picture. And in math, when we look at pictures, we call them graphs. So here, when we consider a graph, we're considering the relationship between the values that come up on the horizontal axis and the values that show up on the vertical axis. So here, for any given number on the horizontal axis, we can talk about what's happening in the vertical axis as described by this relationship. So for example, we could say here that if x equals 4.5, which is roughly here, that the corresponding y value will be negative 1. So that's a relationship. This line tells us how these two sets of numbers are related. A third way that we can evaluate different functions is through data. Oftentimes in the real world, we don't get nice smooth functions and instead we have data points that we need to evaluate. And one of the nice ways we can look at various data is through a table. So a table will give us a value in terms of x and it will tell us the other value in terms of y in the second row of the table. So tables are a good way for us to get information about these relationships for these specific numbers. Finally, we can look at functional relationships through descriptions. Sometimes we have some words that describe what the relationship is. If we're lucky, that description will allow us to come up with a formula like we saw in number one, but sometimes it's just a general idea of how two things are related. So here, the cost of ice cream, C, in dollars at a local shop in Mathtown, Ohio, is a function of the number of toppings T ordered to be put on the ice cream. So cost is a function of the number of toppings you decide to put onto your ice cream. So we know that there's a relationship. And if we think carefully about it, it's likely that the more toppings you choose, the more expensive your ice cream becomes. But we can't know for sure because there's not enough information.